Quick disclaimer guys, as I'm sure you're all very much aware, there is a global health pandemic occurring around the world right now that begins with the letter C. I just learned any content on YouTube that uses the C word can be demonetized. So I've had to go through this video and bleep out all mentions of the C word. All right, that's the disclaimer. Let's continue with the video. Hey up guys. So the World Health Organization has officially declared the outbreak as a global pandemic. It's a bizarre time for public health right now. Toilet paper is apparently worth more than gold. People are wearing plaster masks, plastic bags, and beekeeper nets over their heads on public transport. And apparently handshaking now is considered taboo. Gotta get used to saying hello to people with my elbows. I've already been feeling the effects of the pandemic. I work in events, and of course all events around the world are being canceled left, right, and center. So as I have way too much time on my hands, and I'm sure many of you will do so soon, I decided to make a video on my top 10 movies to get you through a quarantine. I do want to take a moment to say that I'm not trying to downplay the seriousness of the situation. I understand that people are dying from this virus, but the purpose of this video is not to mock or belittle the situation, rather to comment on what's happening and make some suggestions as to what films would be fitting to watch if people finding themselves needing to self-isolate. So I hope this video isn't in poor taste to anyone. The films on this list are some that I feel reflect what we're going through right now, as well as a few which I believe to be great remedies for when you're ill or help you to look on the bright side of life if you're forced to self-isolate. So let's get started with number 10. Question, what spreads faster than the The answer is a rumor. The first film on this list is a comedy that catapulted Emma Stone into leading lady status. It's Will Gluck's Easy A. Emma Stone stars as Olive, a high school student who pretends to lose her virginity to help her gay friend out but quickly develops a reputation as the school slut. It's a total rainy day movie, I can't recommend it enough. It's witty, it's down to earth, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. Honestly, I could watch Emma Stone singing along to Natasha Bedingfield on a never ending loop. Ugh. Worst song ever. Do what you want, but you're never gonna break me. Send stones are never gonna take me, yo. Oh wow. I gotta fucking gotta fucking sunshine. I gotta love and I know that it's all mine. Oh. Take me away. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Nothing heals quite like the power of laughter. And if you need a quick dose of humor, then pop on Easy A. It's a great watch. Next up at number nine is a film which feels a little bit too close to home right now. And it's seen a huge resurge in iTunes movie rentals recently. It's Steven Soderbergh's Contagion. If you weren't buying all the soap in Asda before, then you certainly will when you've seen Contagion. The plot sees the outbreak of a deadly virus, which looks like the common cold, but ends up killing millions. Thankfully, the <laughs> isn't as deadly as the virus in Contagion, but this movie will still make you think twice before you push a button in an elevator, use cutlery in a restaurant, or turn a doorknob in a public space. It's spooky just how much of this film echoes what's happening right now, People are panic buying, people are avoiding contact with others, there's characters that are capitalizing on the situation, and there's a lot of fear mongering from the media as well. Soderbergh has crafted a paranoia inducing thriller which will make your skin crawl and the hairs on your back of your neck stand up. Fair warning though, once you've seen this film, it really stays with you. If you're someone that's anxious about the then best to skip this one. All right, let's lighten the mood. Next up at number eight is a film which I and most people will associate with Christmas, but it's a film where the title is looking like a very possible reality for us all. It's Chris Columbus's Home Alone. Yes, it's looking like a lot of us will be self-isolating in our own homes in the coming weeks and months. And what better way to boost your spirits than watching Kevin McAllister defend his home from two burglars? There's a reason why this one is watched annually by so many people. It's a comforting, feel-good delight. It's the cinematic equivalent of a cup of hot chocolate. It just makes you all warm inside. It might not be Christmas, but I say give yourself a little Christmas cheer early this year. Okay, so at number seven, we have Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. The reason why it makes an appearance on this list is because no other film in 2019 spread like a virus than Parasite did. From its debut at the Cannes Film Festival to its history-making victory as the first non-English speaking film to win Best Picture at the Oscars, no other film has had more international word of mouth buzz than Bong Joon-ho's societal thriller Parasite this film really went viral. The less you know about this film, the better, but why not take advantage of all this extra time you'll have off work to see what the fuss is about? Trust me, you won't regret watching this one. All right, so coming in at number six, we have one of the best horror survival films of all time. It's Danny Boyle's 28 Days Later. I had to put this one on the list somewhere because as a London lad, it would be both cool and uber creepy 
to see the scenes of this film come to life. Killian Murphy wandering around the streets of London without a soul to be found, that's chilling. If it comes to a point where the UK is quarantined, this film will give you an idea of what London will look like if it happens. Desolate. It would be so weird to see the city of London just come to a complete stop. But Danny Boyle's film is atmospheric, tense, and wonderfully acted. And depending on what the UK government decides, we could end up being stuck inside for 28 days. Later. <laughs> so it seems like a rather fitting pick. All right, moving on to number five, time for something uplifting. And what's more uplifting than a musical? Honestly, there are so many good ones that make me feel better. Grease, La La Land, The Wizard of Oz, you can't go wrong with any of them, but personally, my recommendation would be to watch Michael Gracie's The Greatest Showman. It's easy viewing, heartwarming, and the soundtrack is phenomenal. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. It's got Hugh Jackman on triple threat form, acting, singing, and dancing his heart out. And it's positive messages about acceptance, self-love, and inclusivity are the perfect antidote for all the scary stuff that's going on in the world right now. This film will make your spirit soar. Next up at number four is a film that frequently shows up on many people's top 10 best movies of all time lists. It's Frank Darabont's The Shawshank Redemption. I think this film's tagline says it best. Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. There's nothing more powerful in the world than hope, and we could all use a little bit more of that right now. Tim Robbins plays our protagonist, Andy Dufresne, a man who's been falsely imprisoned, sentenced to two consecutive life sentences at the Shawshank Penitentiary. He's a man who's lost everything, yet he never gives up on hope. This film has its dark moments, but there's a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel for Andy Dufresne. The ending of this film is one of the most cathartic in cinematic history. Plus, it's well documented in medical journals that if you're feeling unwell, listening to the silky soothing voice of Morgan Freeman narrating as the character Red is guaranteed to make you feel better. Yeah, it's science. <laughs> right, next up at number three is my personal pick that I always watch when I'm sick. It's David Frankel's The Devil Wears Prada. I don't know what it is about this film, but it has a medicinal quality to it. It's got a great fish out of water plot watching mousy but ambitious Andy, who's played by Anne Hathaway, working for this fashionista editor-in-chief, Miranda Priestley, who's played by Meryl Streep. This film is light and airy, but it also has its sadder moments. It's got a breezy, pop-tastic soundtrack, as well as so many terrific performances. Hathaway, Meryl Streep, obviously, Stanley Tucci, Emily Blunt, Oh, this film, it's its like a warm hug. It just envelops you. If Meryl Streep being a shady bitch doesn't cheer you up, then honey, nothing will. Does anybody else have anything I can possibly use? Antibacterial wipes, perhaps? That's all. Coming in at number two is another holiday favorite, but it's not exclusively a Christmas film. It's Frank Capra's perennial classic, It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, it's right there in the title, guys. The story is a what-if premise about a father called George Bailey, who's played by James Stewart, who almost commits suicide, but is shown what the world would be like if he was never born by an angel called Clarence, who's played by Henry Travers. It's pure schmaltz, this film, but there's a reason why it's endured the test of time and why people love it so much. It shows the value of normal, everyday people. For those that had dreams but never saw them realized, this film reminds them that they still have so much to offer the world and that we all leave an indelible mark on those around us. The film, even though it's in black and white, really is timeless. It's so joyful and uplifting. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. And despite it being made in 1946, still resonates with us today. If you're not touched by this film, then you're probably not human. And finally, coming in at number one is another oldie, but a goodie. And it's another musical. <laughs> what can I say? There's something about musicals that just have the healing powers. <laughs> it's Stanley Donan and Gene Kelly's Singing in the Rain. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. This film sparkles with color, exuberance, magic, and optimism. The title of this film, Singing in the Rain, perfectly encapsulates the joy of musicals, movies, and life. Watching the talents of such greats like Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds doing what they do best is the perfect remedy to boost your spirits or your money back. The film has a flawless mix of fabulous set pieces, swooning romance, witty comedy, and infectious songs. It's the very definition of a feel-good film, and if in doubt, make them laugh. All right, guys, those were my 10 films to get you through a quarantine. But as always, this is just one book's opinion. I would like to hear from you. What did you think of my picks? Do you agree? Do you not? And what films would you suggest to watch during a quarantine vid fest? 
what you think. Should let your voices be heard in the comment section down below. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you think others might like it, share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click subscribe for more content just like this. And if you guys want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, you can find all those links in that video description down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.